So we have a look at the um, Flex dashboards. Uh, so what's happened here? Okay, can you see my R? Hello? Okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we uh, are going to have a look at how to transform our uh, flash, Flex dashboard uh, uh, into um, uh, shiny featured, uh, let's say, dashboard. So it's not uh, just a flex dashboard with like uh, some plots, the columns and, and plots, but now we can add some features from Shiny, such as, for example, a Shiny slider or other things. So what I did, uh, so the, the packages that we need are this flash, flex dashboard package and the, the Shiny dashboard. Um, so to make a flex, flex dashboard, uh, we, we, we know about that. So you go to file and then, uh, new file, uh, I mark down and then from template, you choose flex dashboard and then you decide where to put it and then you create one. Then this is nice. Yeah, for then, nice, uh, nice uh, job, Federica. It looks very good. Yeah, then um, from this article, which is from Towards Data Science, I found this other uh, image, which is uh, showing you how to uh, add a shiny feature. So in the YAML, which is this um, first bit that you find in your Flex uh, dashboard, you add this line, runtime shiny. And so you can add uh, the widgets, basically. So the things that you like to, uh, to add in your flex, flex dashboard and um, all stays like that as, uh, as, uh, as before. So basically you don't see it, but the thing slightly changes and I show you what's happened here. So. Let's do it uh, uh, live. Okay, so I go to, if you don't see, if you don't hear, if something happened, then please advise. Okay, my R markdown, then I go from template and then uh, flex dashboard. This is because I've done, uh, installed uh, this, this package, flex dashboard. Otherwise I, I won't be able to find this option here. So I click OK, and it creates paste that uh, I'm doing. Um, uh, they already did it. So let's call it my awesome flex dashboard and need it. So we can see fresh Okay, I need to save it. And I save it because I created my folder file. Okay, so um, let's say test. Um, and uh, this is something that I wanted to mention as well. So I've created uh, just a, a little um, a little thing to... I created this uh, uh, my folder thing where uh, I have some something stored in it. And then what I just did is uh, add this folder in Git in your. Uh, so anytime I push uh, changes, uh, it, it, it won't add this folder to, to the region. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I saved this test, um, I also flash dashboard test. So I needed, so we can see a fresh and blood what what what, uh, uh, what it does. So we know, but you know, just to to
to to refresh. It looked like you created the book. You, you should maybe like ask to knit just the pages. I, because it's it's generated the book here. It's a like book uh, index HTML. So you should uh, generate it. Uh, can you knit just the document? I don't know why I just did it. Um... Yeah, ch check the knit, like uh, if you can change the um, knit button and the uh, Need to fledge that ball, yes, maybe. Try this one. All right, clear. Let, yeah, let's you can also do that, maybe. And then clean the, yeah, this one. And see what is rendering. No, it's, it's, it's do the book. Uh, it's just the Current rotating directory. The project will create the book, I think. Um, try the current directory, I think. I don't know what's happening, but anyway, uh, let, let, let's let's see. It it's, uh, it should be like uh, let's let's go into your file. Okay, like, no, uh, let's do it again. Okay. okay. So, from template slash dashboard. Okay. Save it. And then need it. Need to save it. I need to save it. And now I save it somewhere else. I save it on yeah. my desktop. Okay. Um, maybe because does it this this thing? Yeah, it's always good to remove them, but shouldn't bother, shouldn't like what the trouble is. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Yes. Good job. I don't know what's happened. Really. I, I think it, it want to it, it by default it would need the project what's inside of the project. So it, it need the um, so no. I think like you should specify like when you you can no. use air markdown renders and the name of the file. I don't know, I just did it before. Yeah. So just Okay, so this is the uh, basics uh, of the of a flex dashboard. Yeah. So you have three, for example, you can make three charts and uh, have this this um, um, frame to use. Uh, about you can change it as, as you like. Now, what we are going to do is to uh, get rid of these things and. Add just this runtime shiny. Okay. You should close this one like this. My just yes, you should close like the um, use the yeah. This one is the you, you can close this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you close this one. So you do not because this one like yeah without like the underscore. Was it? Okay. This is the, not... yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the one you copy. Original. Okay. And yeah, this is the one you copy first. Okay. So uh, I add this um, runtime shiny. It says the the format changes, so I need to reload. So I do this like restart R. Now does these things because I still have my shiny uh, my flash dashboard running. Okay. So that's why it says um, that the, the the session is is different. Okay. So let's go back. Okay, so uh, 
Okay, all the same as before, but something changed. I don't know if you noticed. Here, uh, we don't have, we, we have this run document yeah. thing. Yeah. And then other things change it. So you, you don't have like the, the dash things. Yeah. And the added and sections and everything. Okay. So yeah. now what we are going to do is to build up our uh, shiny flesh tab. Okay. So we use this uh, World Bank data, data mm -hmm. catalog as well. And um, because in the book, uh, there was a specific indicator for um, uh, the, there was a specific indicator, okay, for the P, uh, no, I have, so for, for, for um, I don't want to say something, um, to, to basically, um, the, the, the air pollution data, okay? Yeah. So, and so you had this indicator here, this English and then ITM, PM2 and T5, et cetera. So uh, you, we can find a different uh, data set. And how do we do this is um, uh, basically, I had a look at this function, uh, World Bank Data Catalog, uh, but it says to have a look at this uh, mm, okay. website. Obviously the website uh, is, is this one here. Okay, so it's a nice website. You can like uh, it, um, find many things. So you see you have uh, five, about 6,000 data sets available and everything. But we, we do, we use the API. Okay, so we can use uh, this uh, uh, World Bank cache function, and we can um, like uh, we need to. Okay, we need to specify the language. Um, apparently, I do not have uh, um, loaded the library. The library. So this is the library, the uh, World Bank stats. Uh, so we can see that this is the new function which replaces this uh, the, the the W function. Uh, here you can download the data, have a look, and then uh, select a specified year if you want. Okay. If you use this function, you need to specify the language. Uh, for for your data the, 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 that you require, and then you find a list containing countries, indicators, sources, all these things here. So if I do uh, the list, uh, it, it won't take um, much long uh, to usually to download this uh, this data. And then we can have a look at the data, which they are something like that. So here I have selected the poverty severity indicator, for example, and I show you how to select some uh, specific indicators. Uh, and uh, this is the list. So in this column, indicator ID, you find the indicator that is being used in the book uh here this indicator here okay so going back to uh, our list because now it's done so we can have a quick look uh, you can see it's a quite uh, um it's a list so we we have few few data sets inside and if we do like list uh dollar signs there is the, the 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 full list of all the things we need indicators okay so i use study verse and then um, if i do list indicator view i have the full list of all the indicators okay they they're quite a number so you can choose uh, among a certain type of so i did a count 
uh, and uh, you can see they are uh, 20, uh, about 20,000, and so th there are different types. So I set this as a uh, vector, is, as a data set named indicator, and then I select uh, like uh, PM25, so just as the same in the book. So I, as you can see, you can find the same data here. This is the data, so then you can select and go forward with the with the analysis, selecting other data, maybe of the same kind. But now what we do is selecting severity within the indicator. We are looking at severity. So this is are uh, the different type of severity. So this is a poverty uh, information. Basically, people is paid um, one dollar point nine a day or 2.5 dollars a day or four dollars a day so i've chosen these three bits okay and um i put them so this is what uh, um the libraries yeah what we need in our um i think uh, i'm going to delete everything here Okay. Uh, yeah. So we need these libraries, natural earth for the countries. Uh, uh, this is for the data. This is for the map. DT for the little. Uh, yeah. And the ggplot2, I uh, would suggest uh, you, you don't need like tidyverse. It, it's enough. So we load the, 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 the information for the map and then we set, uh, we change the, the, name. yeah, the names because it's um, um, like it's clear, it's better to, to do like that. So what we use now is uh, this uh, let let let's copy this. Uh, um, so basically, what we do now is using this um, World Bank data, okay, and then we download the indicators, okay. Uh, this is actually done. Um, is is not needed, okay. So this is not needed. Because now what we do is to select the first indicator, uh, 1.9, the second 2.5, and the fourth for $4. Um, oops, okay. And uh, even if it says that WB is uh, uh, not in use anymore, but you need to use W, uh, B underscore cache. If you choose a year, it doesn't work. So you need to use the old uh, way with WB. Yeah. How to select a year? Um, this is why you have the counter in your. Yeah. In your first one, like you check that. Here. So basically, here I don't specify the date. And um, as you can see, uh, it downloads all the dates, uh, all the years available. And the, the most recent one is 2014. So we use 2014 and we need to use this uh, because otherwise it doesn't work. So we repeat the, the procedure three times. Uh, so for, for the three um, wages. You can, yeah, you can ask the warning to not appear if you want. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And no, it doesn't, it doesn't. When you specify the year, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think. Um, oh, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, then we bind the rows. So we have yes. all 
in one. Uh... Oh, no, no. Uh, yes, the warning is it. It's here. Yeah. yeah that's fine. But, yeah. But if I use this, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. So now we have this P14, which is a new data set of uh, 57 uh, observations made of uh, three uh, different uh, indicators. Okay, so uh, we now use this data inside um, our um, First uh, our uh, flex dashboard. Okay, uh, this is just to show you. Now I've cancelled everything. But if I add the dashes things, it works. It works as well. So okay. I can add the thing, and now I have the dashes. Uh, and then um, basically what I did is from the book, I've just substituted this, uh, the P, um, the air pollution, uh, um, variable dpm25 with uh, this ps uh, p7 uh, so i've substituted all of them uh, i uh, can uh, uh, just copy these things uh, on my uh, new dashboard uh, i set the minimum and the uh, maximum value to use a slider so the slider will be on a side uh, and we have the minimum value of my vector P severity, poverty severity, and the maximum value. And then the slider input, uh, it specified like the, the range values. It has a label, which I can change it as I like it, like P severity values uh, in uh, dollar. Uh, and then I can, put like minimum, maximum, and, and these are the values. Okay, so if I uh, run this, uh, it doesn't work. And this is something that when you use a shiny app, you cannot uh, like mm. check the code. Uh, you yeah. Have a look at the uh, um, wall workflow. Uh, so now uh, this is our first, this is the colon, uh, this is a sidebar, and I can specify the width, so I can make it like wider or, or less wider. Um, then uh, what, this is the column. Uh, the map. Fit. Okay, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing this because uh, usually when you uh, do your things, uh, you, you do something like that. So uh, this is the best way to learn and to do the things because sometimes it can take much longer if you uh, do differently when you're not. So you do this uh, and it works. Um, this is the central column. So I'm not saying that I'm going on a sidebar. Uh, so it's data width 500. I can make it different. And then I set my map. Okay, first thing, this is the color that I'm going to use inside the map. I can even split uh, the code. It doesn't change anything. Uh, then here is uh, are my uh, labels so if i run this uh, this you know uh, yeah same thing so you cannot check uh, the chunk of code um sometimes it depends by when you assign yeah because like you're not using any anything inside of it currently yeah so objective stuff this is the map filter yeah. And uh, we we add a reactive thing, um, and we specify uh, which uh, of the severity values that we have added in the map um, data information. Okay, uh, in the in the data, 
is greater than the range values that we have specified. And the other one, uh, which is the one which is lower. So the, the values need, need to be uh, within these two. Okay. And then uh, I select from the map this um, row, sign range slider. Yeah, we will define uh, this is like the input from the shiny slider, no? Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. Then we have our uh, render leaflet, uh, li leaflet, leaflet. Okay, yeah. render leaflet, um, and it says if the number of rows of our map filter of our filter uh, map is equal to zero, uh, so it's new. Something. Then what's happened here is is the rest of the the map. Which okay. So I have a start uh, render uh, leaflet, and I put a warning. If it's nothing, uh, leave it like that. Otherwise, start mapping. So leaflet, leaflet need to be uh, specified with map filtered, which is our map. The map that has been selected within the range values. Okay, so I have leaflet map filtered. And then I add tiles. You know that, you know how to use leaflet. So first thing you do, add tiles. So the tiles are uh, the map. The, basic the background map, map yeah. The yeah. tiling map. Then I set the view, and I show you why. Then I, I like did a bit of, um, so I found the, the, the best uh, longitude and latitude and the zoom for, for the map. And then here are the polygons. Okay, the polygons here, you, if you add this bit stroke through weight one, the borders of the polygons are tiny, uh, are tinier than uh, um, what they were before. So the stroke is on ggplot, it's the border, no? Okay, and the weight is the size of the border. So if you put stroke to weight, you can change the weight, like two, three, or lower. Then the color is by severity, palette, severity. This is the color of the borders. And then I put them uh, uh, slightly transparent, uh, very, very a lot, because otherwise they go one on top of each other. And then uh, the, this is all the same. You know, the labels, the highlight options. If you have any question, I don't know, then there is a, a, the legend. I have substituted this, uh, this thing, so all the same. Okay, so this is our uh, map, which is done. And then we have the other side, the, 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 the remaining bit. We have a table and um, an histogram to add. Okay, we can, we can make it different. Um, okay, this is our table, little table, uh, which is, um, I have wrapped it. This is the table, okay, as it was uh, originally, just that, uh, that there is this thing that changes. But then it was too big, so like it didn't fit properly. So oh. if, if you wrap it with, within a div yeah. and specify like a, a font size, which is not 100% but lower. Div is a function of HTML, I guess, the HTML package. It's in Shiny. 
It's in shiny. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's have a look. Let, let, let's let's uh, have a other. Let's nice. have a look. HTML. HTML, HTML tool. Uh, yeah, HTML tool. Okay. But thanks. It, is this part of the shiny? I okay. don't know. Good. I, I can't tell you. Probably yes. I didn't load it, so must be one of the package. Uh, yeah. I think is um okay we we have a look at that we yeah. we go back to that uh, yeah, that's fine i get it yeah okay so this is our table uh and now we see how it looks but now we have a default slightly uh you know customized then finally oops uh we have our instagram and that's it oops then we can change the things uh, even more. Okay, so this is our Instagram. This is a nice part. Okay, so we have an Instagram. Uh, how do we make the Instagram? Let's go back here. Okay, if I load my uh, ggplot2, okay, so this is are my data, the map and the severity, no? If I have a look at this, these are my data, the, the data, oops. That, that I like to um, to use. Okay, so these are these are the data. Okay, so you can see what what's happened. This is from the map. So the map contains many things. Uh, okay, so you know there's a plot. Uh, it, it can go forward and forward. Uh, Okay, it's a um, it's an SP object. Yeah. Okay, so we have added this vector, and this vector is this um, contains our data. So the values, the, the money, basically three dollars and three thirty eight uh, cents, one dollar. So the the wages. So uh, this is nice. Okay, because I wanted to color my histogram with some, some colors by the beans. How, how can I do this? Okay, I use ggplot build, this function, ggplot build. Inside you put your, your um, histogram. Where is it? This is my histogram. Okay, you see? The most of the, the the data the data I've got shows that the most of people and about uh, zero point five to one dollar uh, yeah the most of the people okay so this is my histogram uh, if I do ggplot build I wrap my histogram inside a ggplot build I've chosen uh, bin with uh, no point five because I thought it was nice what's happened is that I have uh, some information about the plot okay in fact can you see all the things here this is from the plot. If I do like GGB, this is my this is from my ggplot build. If I do GGB dollar sign, I have data layout and the plot inside. So if I do data, I have all the data that belongs to my plot. Okay, like the density, the minimum, the max, the count. You see, let let's start from here. So this is the count, uh, the the y-axis. Then, uh, uh, so you can customize and set the things based on the, on the inside information of your plot. Okay. So and I have other other option like plot. Okay. So this way I can count. Um, if I use dimension GGB data uno, uh, these things here, I can find the number of beans. 
Okay, because maybe you 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 cannot see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. In, uh, they are eight. Okay, so then I use this because number. You have the two blank. Pardon? You have two blank. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because you have two blank between two point yeah, exactly. five and three point five. That's it. Exactly. So the is very nice. So I'm making. Exactly. So I um I can fill uh, my beans with a rainbow, for example, function color, and use the number of beans. So if I do this, we can see that we have this plot. Okay. So basically, we add. We don't need all these things because this is just the background work that we use to find this uh, the number of beans. But then when we go back to our dashboard, we specify, we, we add the, the bin width and the fill rainbow with eight inside. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's run the other one. I don't know what's happening. Have a cell phone. Okay. I can't I can't hear you. You muted. Yeah, I closed the mic because the bird behind me is very noisy. But yeah, we, yeah, it works. Okay, we did it. Okay, right. Uh so this is exactly the same, you know, that made some some very little customization. Just yeah, yeah. Did yeah. work. Okay. So what we got here is the poverty severity values, the slider, which goes yeah. from zero to four, which is not four, but three points. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's Good not enough. exactly. Yeah. So you here is the map centered to uh, South America, Central and South America. You can see. Yeah. You know this thing. Uh, here there, there is a little specification, a little legend that specifies where most of the values uh, are found. So like Bolivia is the luckiest. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, uh, so you you can see the table, uh, the, the size of the, the font is, is, is uh, smaller. But I'm 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 not still not satisfied because there is too much space uh behind yeah. it. Yeah, leave too much space. I don't know how to set up that. Pardon? I don't know how to set up that. I don't know. Maybe that there's there, there's a way for sure. This is uh the Instagram uh yeah. color the and the so if we for example see uh who has a, a range between two and three you see that bolivia uh is the the one yeah, i think we missed the three three to four yeah it's three is good it's just bolivia it's and two point zero I didn't know this. So, and then if I do three to uh, three to four, there is no yeah, Honduras. Oh, the Honduras. Yeah. You can find it, but but here is not. Uh, 
we can uh, customize this. Uh, this is completely empty. Yeah. I uh, how to let let's uh, close this for a second. How to customize this um, the the legend. Um, the uh, 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 okay what is it Max should be here uh, the min and max value you used no there you go okay because this refers to the color palette yeah, yeah? So for, for example, I do a multiply the wage for a thousand. Okay, Let, let's do this. Yeah, save it. You can see that you can uh, customize it. What's happening? Sometimes it takes a bit, sometimes it's not. You see? Look at yeah. it. Well, everything is in between zero to 10, so. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so it makes sense. Yeah, then you adjust it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, it's good to have like this flex drive board. Like, uh, I mean, I have like some shiny app. And they were like, uh, they have trouble like organizing. So I like the first time of organizing way of doing it. It's make a, it's a bit easier. So it's good that they must work together. I feel it was nice, nice interactive session for you guys. Thanks for doing all of that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love doing these things. Eh? Yeah, I will try to do that next week. I'm not sure if we will be able to do it as good as you. <laughs> Right. Okay. So well, thanks. I will try a bit, and uh, yeah, next week it will be hopefully, and yeah. it will be our last session. Um, and I will take a bit of like a rest, and we will jump. I hopefully like the beginning of March into the new job competition with R. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, Perica. It was it was a nice session. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone.